In this video, you'll see how to install a Serena Deployment Automation Server for Linux. After you've downloaded the server installation file and uncompressed the tar.gz file, use the tar command to extract the contents of the tar archive. After you've extracted the archive, you'll install using the Serena DA server bin file. Be sure to run as a user with sufficient privileges. In this example, we'll install as root. We source the bin file and wait for the installer to appear on the screen. The installation process initializes and launches the installation wizard. The interactive installer will guide you through the entire installation process. Click Next on the welcome screen to start the process. Carefully read and make sure you agree with the terms of the license agreement. Next, choose the installation type, typical or custom. For this example, we'll choose a typical installation. Now, we'll specify the user who will own the files in the deployment automation installation. We provide the location of the installation user's profile for the installation metadata and accept the default port number for the agent connection. Now let's provide the installation location for our Serena to Common Tomcat and the port number, which in this case is 8080. For this installation, we'll use the Apache Derby database, so we'll select that here. Other supported database types are SQL Server, Oracle, and MySQL. Here we accept the default port and user ID for the Derby database and enter and confirm a password for the user. Since we chose Derby, the database user will be created automatically. The administrative user ID and password are the ones you will use to log into Serena Deployment Automation. Now we've entered all of the required values into the installation wizard. Look over the values to verify them and then click Install to install the product. The system will run through extracting the contents of the binary file and installing them onto your operating system, in this example, Linux. After all the files are copied and the installation is finalized, review the installation summary and then click Finish to close the installer. To start our server, let's log in as the user who owns the installation, Serena. We go to the Serena Common Tomcat location and from there run our startup script. To do this, we source startup.sh and wait for the system to start. Once the system started, we start a web browser and enter the URL to log into Serena Deployment Automation. In this case, we enter localhost colon 8080 and our server name of Serena underscore RA. We log in as the admin user and see that our system is indeed up and running. Our Serena Deployment Automation server installation on Linux is now complete.